So we'd like to show this fast stuff off. So we'll start with that. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 32, Faces. In today's episode, our theme we've picked is faces. We looked up the word face. It actually means a form that is imposed on something. It means form and shape. It's from an ancient Indo-European word, to set or to put, which is the imposing idea. So... Um, we completed our figures and cadences by interval. If you remember from our last time, and you just heard some of that, uh, we worked out all the possible figures that are in this tonality, and we put them in sort orders, and we're looking for cool sounding sequences of intervals. Like these are all the one fives, these are all the five ones, these are all the one fours, and then the four ones. And unlike our last scale where you had four in a row of everything, here you, at the most you have is three in a row. And, and that was an aha because we thought we only had two in a row, but we discovered two new chords that we had missed. And what happened was we were trying to compose some new improvisation over here by pasting figures and listening and putting them in orders and we're just running into a wall so we said why don't we go back to our 3d piano kit and and you know explore figures based on that well the trouble with that is most of our piano kits all start on the root and end on the next to the last note and that was okay except you know like in this scale the one at the top it had so many notes in the middle we can see intervals but in this, we ended up adding a whole bunch more blocks. This is the original scale from here to here. So we dropped all the way below to the neutral here and all the way up to the neutral up here. And it turns out that was is consistent. We kind of did that on purpose with how we do our tonality reference series. In other words, when we try to listen to how a scale sounds, this is not enough. It, 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 it's the scale. But it doesn't tell us more, so we usually do the whole thing. And it kind of really spreads it out, doesn't it? So this, we've, we're successful with figuring out neat sounding um, melodies. And what we end up doing is we kind of started doing like playing off of like here. But when we ran out of ideas, we, um, we turned it around and said, well, let's go another way. Da, da, da. And just by kind of literally reversing our point of view, we got a different angle, literally. And then here, we even tried this for a couple times. And anyway, we played with it, and it was a lot more fun, to be quite honest. So our, our, uh, our 3D model scale or three or 3d scale our 3d piano kit is like twice as big and we kind of we're having to make room because eventually we're going to probably want to do the same thing over here and add the uppers and lower sections but that let us generate a lot of new figures to work with so that was very pleasing the other aha was that we were in doing that we ended up finding two new 1551 intervals that we had somehow missed. Somehow we had missed. So we had to kind of backtrack and go back all the way to the reference area where it says here that was this new chord we added here. 
added those chords, and then we had to go back and update this whole thing because they had had places that they went in, and then we had to go down in here and add them where they were appropriate. And then finally, and the way that came out about was we were going through and labeling all of our new melodic figures, saying, hey, what figure does that correspond to? And somewhere down here, we, we ended up having like an E51, and we just could not find it. It was not in this. And then we said, could it be that we, you know, missed a chord? Not like that hasn't happened before, to be quite honest. But what was interesting, we felt, was that it happened because we worked with a 3D piano kit, which, again, is giving us another, yeah, a, a, literally another dimension to look at what we're working with and see it from a new angle and catch things. Uh, so what we're going to do is play the figures and cadences for you, and we're playing them fast right now, so you can listen to the horizontal harmony. And they're quite pleasing. I mean, you could almost make a composition just out of this the way it is, but we'll see. Here we go. So all the figures that we heard above spread out, da 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 da, da are smooshed together into their chords here, boom, bang, bang. And this is what we call figures and cadences by interval. So they're sorted by the 1-1, one, one, the 1-2, one, the 1-5, one, and those are in um, consonance order from lowest to highest consonants. And where you heard long series of da 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 that's where these three were in a row, three in a row here, and then medium, da -da 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 two in a row, and then when they went really quick, it was like that. So these are all 20 chords that are in the um, reference area, but now they're they're looked at in terms of their interval. So that's new. This is new for us. We have figures and cadences by interval. The other aha uh -huh is that we are still finding our pace with this 4554 five, scale. We want to make something that sounds cool. We have succeeded with the other two scales so far. We could kind of copy the same tempo and, and um, figure and template and so forth, um, time signature, etc. Uh, so we're still exploring with that. But what we do have to date is this set of melodic figures that we're going to continue to work with. So we're going to play this for you, and this will take us home. And these are at a slower pace on purpose. So just listen what they feel like. We've labeled them with what we think they mean, and um, we'll come back.
So that concludes today's stream. Um, our ideas for next time are to keep looking into what, uh, keep working with the scale. Um, the figures and chord selection and arranging. Um, we have some interesting things here, like this kind of a figure here. Could be shown as a figure of three, figure of three, figure of three, figure of three, four figures of three in a row. Uh, what do we want our time signature to be and all that? You know, just keep, you know, keep moving forward, I guess we should say. Painting perspectives. So thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. Do come back, do take care, and do keep on streaming.